Hey, today we're going to do a little experiment where we're going to make a natural piezoelectric material called uh, sodium potassium tartrate, also known as Rochelle salt. It's actually pretty easy to make and uses two fairly common ingredients, the first of which is sodium bicarbonate or soda ash, which is found at uh, art supply stores where it's used as a dye fixer, and cream of tartar or potassium bitartrate which is found in the spice section of your grocery store. We're going to take our seven ounces of the cream of tartar and we're going to add it to a cup of water, but I'm using a two cup container so that we have some room because then we're going to take it, oh, I'm messy. We're going to take it and um, mix it on a so stove top in a pot of simmering water. Okay, so when the water around your saucepan is simmering up to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, then we're going to add a half teaspoon of the soda ash. And you'll see we'll get quite a reaction, quite a bubbly reaction. We're going to let it calm down a little bit. Then we're going to stir and we'll keep repeating this. It can take quite a while. We're going to keep adding half teaspoon by half teaspoon. So eventually it'll stop bubbling and turn clear. And that's when you know you're done. Okay, then with the mixture still warm, we're going to pour it through a coffee filter into another glass container. And this can take a little while. We're just making sure we get out all of any clumps or undiluted parts. So after letting the mixture cool for a little bit, we're going to pour it into a plastic storage container. And then we'll cover it loosely with a lid. And we'll just let it sit in a cool place overnight to see if we get some crystals. You can also, um, if the overnight doesn't work immediately, you can store it for up to two more days in the refrigerator to see if you get some crystals that way. Okay, so we stored them overnight in the garage actually to keep it cool. And then um, another half a day in the refrigerator and it looks like we got some crystals lots of crystals actually though most of them are pretty small but we're gonna search through here dry them off the big pieces we can find and see what will work for testing them out okay so although we had a lot of crystals in them most of them were pretty tiny 
these are still kind of tiny, but there were big clumps of tiny little crystals that would break up too much when we tried to test them. So we've got a few here that we're going to test out and, and see what kind of response we get. Okay, we're going to test out our little piezoelectric crystal. We've got it hooked up to a voltmeter here. So we're going to show that when mechanical stimulation or vibration is put on it, it has an electrical response. <laughs> 